This time on Sightseeing Spot Facts, we're taking a look at the Shard. Just five minutes' walk from London Bridge, the Shard is the UK's tallest building, standing at 309.6 metres. For over the last ten years, it has dominated the London skyline with its glass spire design. Taking three years to build, it was completed in 2012 and opened to the public several months later in 2013. And for a brief time, it was the tallest building in Europe, and still remains the seventh tallest in Europe to this day. The Shard has 26 floors of office space, three floors of restaurants, 19 floors belonging to the five-star Shangri-La Hotel, 13 floors of residential apartments, and London's highest public observation deck, called the View from the Shard. The idea to build the Shard came from property developer and entrepreneur Irvine Seller and Partners, who then teamed up with Italian master architect Renzo Piano. It's said that Piano got the inspiration for his design from the nearby railway lines and 18th century paintings of bell towers as well as the masts of great ships. But the building project ran into rough waters during the global financial crisis in 2007. To save it, a huge investment came from Qatar and because of this, the Shard is primarily owned by the state of Qatar with a 95% ownership stake and the remaining 5% owned by the British-based seller property group. As for its name, it was originally going to be called London Bridge Tower, but its name, the Shard, originated when the architect likened it to a shard of glass during planning. The name caught on, but with some critics saying it was more like a shard of glass through the heart of historic London. Despite some criticism, though, it became quite the sightseeing spot with millions of tourists visiting each year. Many come to buy tickets for the view from the Shard, the highest viewing platform in the UK. For around £32, $40, you can enjoy views of London that were, until now, impossible. The viewing platforms have an open-air section where you can really see the unique, almost unfinished look to the architecture of its glass facade. You'll notice that the corners don't appear to join and the points of the structure taper off, adding to its interesting and unconventional design. To better understand the irregular pyramidal shape of the building, it's helpful to look at a cross-section. As you can see, it's basically a square that has had its four sides divided into two to make eight planes, which are set at different angles. Covered with 11,000 panes of glass, about the area of eight football pitches, they taper off at the top before meeting in a kind of crown-like design, which at night is lit up. While the Shard may not appear very eco-friendly, with its glass, steel and concrete, the skyscraper has gone the extra mile to reduce its carbon footprint by incorporating recycled materials throughout. Interestingly, during the construction phase, an unexpected resident was found living at the top. A clever fox who probably survived by eating the scraps of food left by builders has been given the name Romeo by the staff and has become a kind of mascot for the Shard. You can find him adorning the metal figurines in the gift shop. If you found this interesting, consider subscribing and thanks for watching.